I'm used to Chewy Mini PCs featuring low-end or mid-range CPUs, so the AU Box going for the performance market caught my attention. The AU Box isn't just another Ryzen Mini. It looks different in its design on the inside and out. I like a good metal box as much as the next guy, and this one fits the bill with its very silvery look. Mmm, sexy. And it is Chewy's most powerful Mini yet, featuring AMD's Ryzen 7 8745HS. Oh, good choice. 8 cores, 16 threads, with Radeon 780M graphics. It's an updated 8000 series CPU released late 2024. Chewy bundles the AU box with a 19 volt power supply and monitor mount. That's it. On the front is a power button. Inside the Mini is a Realtek Wi-Fi 6 for wireless and Bluetooth. On the right side is a USB Type-C 10 gigabit fully featured, meaning it supports power and display with one USB-C cable. On the rear we have a 40 gigabit USB 4 port, also supporting power and display. A 3.5mm audio jack, DisplayPort 1.4, HDMI 2.1, dual USB 2, and dual Realtek 2.5 gigabit LAN. So, 4 displays in total, with a maximum of 4K 144Hz for all of them, except the HDMI 2.1, which can do up to 4K 120Hz. One of the more appealing features of the AU Box is its price. While it's 440 US dollars on the Chewy website, they provided a 13% off coupon, which brings it down to $383 for the 512GB SSD, 16GB RAM pre-build. That makes it very competitive with other mini PCs in this performance range. Opening up the AU Box isn't too bad if you have a long and thin screwdriver to reach the four screws. Once those are out, you need to pry open the bottom section, which holds all the goodies. It's cool to see they've put a thermal pad on top of the SSD and used the entire metal case as a heatsink. Although a spare thermal pad is not included for the second drive. Both M.2 slots are 2280 Gen 4 X4 spec. The M.2 wireless card is easily accessible and you may have noticed there's only one 16GB DDR5-5600 stick of RAM. Which means integrated graphics performance will tank. I'll test with two sticks so you can see the difference. Windows 11 Pro is included, and a malware and rootkit scan came back clean. Ubuntu worked fine when tested off a USB drive, if you want to dual boot, or just run Linux. On to the benchmarks. Luckily, we've got another 8745HS Mini in the charts to compare against. The Mini's forum, UM870. In single core Cinebench, the Chewy is behind by 3%. In multi-core, it does well, matching many of the other similar Ryzen CPUs. However, most of those minis allow a higher power limit to be enabled in the BIOS, and the Chewy is 5% behind the best UM870 result. In Geekbench Single Core, it also trails by 5%. While Cinebench doesn't see a boost from memory bandwidth, Geekbench does, and after adding a second stick, the gap narrows to just under 4%. Multicore Geekbench comes back with a dismal result. The Chewy drops down the stack to previous Ryzen generations, but add a second stick and it shoots back up. Now only 4% behind the UM870's best score. Memory bandwidth also heavily affects CPU video encoding. With two sticks, it matches the UM870. For a similar test, but much longer in duration and using a different video codec, the Chewy falls behind the UM870 by around the same margin as Cinebench and Geekbench. Now offloading the same workload onto the integrated graphics, and unsurprisingly, it does much better with two sticks and has similar performance to the other 8000 series chips with Radeon 780M. Moving on to AI. Chewy does well on the CPU benchmark, even with just single channel memory, beating out the Core Ultra 9 185H. Add the second RAM stick, and it performs even better matching or beating the HX370 in single and half precision. Switching over to the AI GPU test, and with dual channel and same memory speed, the 8745HS is pretty close to the HX370. For AI workloads, this CPU is definitely far better value. GPU performance gets hit so hard with one stick of RAM that it sets it back a couple of generations in DX11 Firestrike. Adding a second one, bumps it up by 67%. Still, the UM870 came out ahead. 3 dmarks DX12 Timespire gets a boost of almost 71%, with 
with the UM870 slightly ahead. And finally, DX12 Steel Nomad Lite gets an increase of 62%. So let's see how the Mini performs with single versus dual channel memory in a variety of game titles. Starting with eSports and Counter-Strike 2 shows a large increase in average frame rate and 1% lows. Same with Dota 2. Valorant may be reliant on CPU performance, but it also gets hit pretty hard on both metrics with single channel memory. And the esports game that is most memory bandwidth starved is League of Legends. Almost double the FPS numbers with dual channel memory. Now for some AAA gaming. Cyberpunk 2077 is unplayable with one stick of RAM and very playable with two. Oblivion Remastered shows more of the same. Radeon 780M is powerful enough to have simple ray tracing in GTA 5 with two sticks of RAM. Baldur's Gate 3 is another case of unplayable versus playable. With PS3 emulation, Dual Channel gets you much closer to 30 frames per second in Killzone 2. And Wii U games should be full speed either way. So if it wasn't clear already, you'll want to add an extra 16GB DDR5-5600 stick if you get the Chewy AU box as it adds a lot of performance to certain CPU workloads and most GPU workloads. I tested Crucial and ADATA DDR5 and they worked fine with the included TWSC branded RAM. For even more GPU performance, you can use an eGPU dock and here it's working fine with my RTX 4070 Super. Now for the audio and video side of things. Unfortunately, latency mon fails very quickly with Cinebench running in the background. Not a good result for audio production while multitasking. I tested Adobe Premiere with a default single stick of RAM configuration to see how it holds up with my 4K project, as I already know it's fine with two of them. It's very doable out of the box, but there can be a little lag in playback when it's pushed. Chewy includes a Gen 3 AirDisc NVMe SSD drive, which is quite fast for a Gen 3. With a whole metal case acting as the SSD's heatsink, the drive is kept very cool. Bluetooth range at 6 meters or almost 20 feet is above average for wireless. There were no connection problems at 12 meters or 39 feet from the router using the 5G band. An idle power draw of 8 watts is very low and brings it in line with the UM870. Maximum power draw on the other hand peaked pretty high at 114 watts and is substantially higher than the UM870. A 95C peak with CPU temperature isn't unusual with these high-end chips, although the Minis Forum did a bit better. Fan noise is above average and higher than the UM870 when it's in balance mode, but if we compare its performance mode, both Minis have similar fan noise. Either way, this is not a quiet Mini PC under load. The AU box is average sized and takes up almost exactly the same amount of volume as the UM870. You can get into the BIOS by mashing the delete key. In advance you'll find auto power on, wake on land and even CEC support. You can also allocate a specific amount of VRAM from the RAM pool in GFX configuration. Hardware monitor doesn't allow you to change the auto fan speed. We've gone through many aspects of Chewy's AU box, now it's time for the pros and cons. I like the metal case and the design of the Mini is unique, although I'm not a fan of some ports being on the side instead of the front. The launch price is very competitive. I like the way they've configured the NVMe drives to use the case as it's cooler. Most Minis use a bottom metal plate only as they're configured upside down. However, be aware no extra thermal pad is included for the second drive. It's great to see no Bluetooth or wireless issues with the AU box. What I don't like is that there's no active cooling on the memory. While the memory didn't thermal throttle during my tests, it's still a possibility with higher ambient temperatures. Only one stick of RAM is included, 
you really need to add another one to get the full performance of the 8745HS. Load fan noise is higher than I'd like. Overall, the Chewy AU box is a competent mini PC with a lot to like, especially the price. It allows you to experience that AMD mobile bang for buck performance as long as you throw in another RAM stick. You can find the non-affiliate link in the video description along with a coupon. And if you want to help the channel out, anything you buy through my Amazon, AliExpress or eBay links allows me to get a cut of the sale at no cost to you. Your help has made this channel viable. So thanks a lot, and if you're looking for something even cheaper with decent performance, do check out Chewy's Lightbox S Mini PC. The review is right here. Cheers!